Elijah McCoy was born in Ontario, Canada, after his parents had fled from Kentucky through the Underground Railroad. He was educated as a mechanical engineer, but due to racial barriers at the time, he could only find work on the Michigan Central Railroad as a fireman shoveling coal and as an oiler lubricating axles and engine parts with a handheld oil can. This was tedious work, and Elijah knew that there had to be a better way to deliver oil to moving parts of the engine. So he used invention to solve the problem. On July 23, 1872, he patented a lubrication device that allowed locomotives to oil themselves. This lubricating cup, as he called it, had a hollow stem, a valve, and a piston. When steam from the engine acted upon the piston, the valve would raise, allowing the oil to pass into the engine and distribute evenly over its moving parts. This invention was revolutionary to the railroad industry. It allowed trains to run faster and pause less for maintenance, which increased efficiency and made railroad companies much more profitable. Despite this, Elijah McCoy never had enough money to produce the device in large numbers himself. So he had to assign the patent rights to his employers or sell the rights to investors. Regardless, he continued to improve the device, collecting over 57 patents in his lifetime. Most of them were to improve the lubricating cup, but he also invented versions of ironing boards and lawn sprinklers, among other things. While there is no hard evidence, it's possible that the term, the real McCoy, was coined by railroad engineers who wanted to avoid using inferior knockoffs of Elijah McCoy's lubricating cup.